Before today's video begins, everybody, I just want to give a huge, massive shout out to one of my friends and con goers, Emma Lee Wigaker, aka Queen Emma B, for suggesting this show to me. In case a lot of you may not know about her, Emma has done some incredible work cosplay wise, and not to mention, I have tagged along with her in so many cons that I've been to for the past couple of years now, and not to mention, appeared in several of my con vlog videos that I have done. So Emma, I would like to say thank you so much for recommending this show to me, and I have dedicated this video just for you, and I enjoyed having you in all of my con vlogs that I have done so far, and here's to hope I'll have you in some of my other videos some point around in the near future. And to any of my subscribers to my YouTube channel right about now, if you want to be uh, familiar with Emma's work cosplay-wise and a few other stuff, then the links to her Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and her Buy Me Coffee page are down in the description box below for you to check out. Thank you guys so much for listening, and I hope you enjoy my latest Stardust app compilation video where I covered almost every single episode of Miraculous Ladybug. Enjoy! Man, oh man, it's been a long time coming, but I got to see the first episode of Miraculous Ladybug, and I have to say, it's actually pretty good, yeah. I mean, the characters are actually uh, pretty interesting, and uh, the villain is very goofy and over the top, and, uh, and I really love how action-packed it is, and yeah, I will have to admit, the uh, the English stuff is alright, so yeah, if anything, uh, I really love the uh, first episode, so I guess I'm off to a good start. So, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug is... Quite fascinating, I mean, adults being uh, blown away by bubbles? Freaking bubbles! <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I know it actually does sound crazy, but yeah, overall, pretty good episode, but um, yeah. Freaking bubbles! Jeez Louise, where's Brendan Fraser when you need him? <laughs> but yeah, I guess, uh... Yeah, Lady Bug and Cat Noir uh, facing off against uh, a bunch of mummies, and uh, and and for some uh, villain by the name of uh, Pharaoh is uh, is actually quite fascinating. So yeah, overall, really great episode in my opinion. I yeah, it's yeah, pretty great episode. Man, I gotta say, this episode of uh, Miraculous Lady Bug, uh, I really enjoyed the most. And uh, as someone who operates on the internet. I actually uh, get where this episode is coming from, so yeah, pretty great episode. I I think it's probably one of my uh, favorites right about now. Man, I gotta say, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug really uh, knew uh, when it uh, comes to uh, handling uh, time travel and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I think it's actually pretty interesting to see two ladybugs fighting in action. So so yeah, pretty great episode. I I really had a blast with this one. Attack of the Killer Pigeons! <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know exactly where I'm coming from on this, but yeah, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug, it did kind of intrigue me a bit. I mean, I mean, uh, just having uh, the main villain named Mr. Pigeon with a bunch of pigeons? That's a pretty bizarre one, and plus Adrian being allergic to feathers, it's pretty funny. So yeah, pretty good episode in my opinion. Man. Given to what I just saw with this episode of Miraculous Ladybug, that is really something to behold. I, but yeah, I think there's nothing much else I could say except a uh, pretty good episode in my opinion. And uh, but all I can say is I'll never look at drawings uh, the same way again. Well, you want to see a kid-friendly version of RoboCop, but a little bit on steroids? Well, that's what you're going to get with uh, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug. So, yeah, really great episode in my opinion. It, yeah, I really didn't know what to expect, uh, but but yeah, it is actually pretty good. Man, it looks like the old switcheroo uh, really uh, went all out in this episode of Miraculous Ladybug. But yeah, I have to say it's actually uh, pretty uh, good. I mean, uh, just uh, a sculptor posing as Cat Noir uh, just to uh, frame him for something he didn't do. Pretty clever, so yeah, pretty good episode. Well, that was one interesting episode of Miraculous Ladybug. I mean, I mean, uh, just uh, seeing uh, Cupid doing the exact uh, opposite of uh, what he uh, normally does on Valentine's Day, it's, it's actually pretty hilarious. So yeah, overall, pretty good episode, but I just don't know what I had to witness.
man, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug was really amazing. I mean, I mean, as an avid uh, movie fan like myself, I uh, I am really impressed by it. So, so yeah, I guess everything about it is just uh, really impressive. So overall, really great episode. Highly recommend it. Yeah, I gotta say. This episode of Miraculous Ladybug was really hilarious, in my opinion. I mean, the best part about it is, uh, is that uh, Chloe is uh, trying to uh, get to a Marinette's uh, diary, but but I think I'm failing miserably. So, so yeah, I guess uh, other than that, this was a really hilarious episode of Miraculous Ladybug. I, I did get a few laughs out of it. Well, I guess after watching this episode of Miraculous Ladybug, I will never... Uh, Feel the same way about mimes ever again, but, but yeah, really great episode, but I never thought I would see the day that I would uh, see a mime as a villain in this, so, so yeah, pretty hilarious episode, I really love it. So, looks like, uh, looks like this episode of Miraculous Ladybug actually uh, taught something. <laughs> Cooking is evil! <laughs> But, yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, but, yeah, I think I will have to say this episode of uh, Miraculous Ladybug is pretty good. And uh, I really do enjoy the uh, villain in this. Uh, he He's uh, incredibly uh, fun to watch in that. Wow, I gotta say, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug was absolutely amazing. And as someone who actually really likes uh, video games and has been an avid collector of any kinds of video games in general, I am actually impressed by this episode. So... So yeah, I I really recommend it. Definitely another one of my favorites so far. Man, oh man, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug was absolutely amazing. I mean, I can't even describe it in words. I think it's basically Jurassic Park mixed in with Jumanji at the uh, same time. It, it's that really impressive. So, so yeah, another one of my favorites so far. I highly recommend Agaman. It's a it's a really great episode of this show. Man, oh man, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug was all worth it. Uh, yeah, I mean, just the idea of uh, Chloe being uh, anti-bug, uh, being the uh, complete opposite of Ladybug, it's actually, uh, it's actually really impressive. So yeah, overall, really great episode. Uh, and Emma, I seriously need to have a word with you uh, after this. Man, this is actually a pretty good episode of uh, Miraculous Ladybug that I just saw. And I guess you could say uh, that the uh, puppeteer in this has got no strains on her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get the idea. So yeah, pretty good episode in, in my opinion. Not great, but it's actually pretty good. Man, I gotta say, I think they should have called this episode of Miraculous Ladybug... When School Picture Day attacks. <laughs> so yeah, I guess other than that, uh, I really like uh, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug. Uh, Reflecta uh, is actually a uh, really cool villain in that. So so yeah, there's nothing much else I can say. I really love this episode. Jeez Louise. I don't know what to say about this episode of Miraculous Ladybug, but... I will say uh, it... I think maybe that's uh, what the uh, movie Pixel should have been like in the first place. So, so yeah, overall, uh, I think uh, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug is uh, it's actually pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. Man, I gotta say, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug really knows how to rock and roll! <laughs> so yeah, I have to say, uh, Guitar Villain is actually a really good villain in this. So yeah, overall, I thought this episode of Miraculous Ladybug is good. Not great, just good. Boy, who would have thought that fireworks would actually take out a whole cloud full of nothing but perfume? So, yeah, I think uh, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug uh, actually uh, did say uh, best, but yeah, pretty good episode in my opinion, so it's actually worth the watch. Man, first we have Simon Says uh, being the name of the game. Now we have Simon Says being the name of the villain in this episode of Miraculous Ladybug. So, so yeah, I think I actually uh, did uh, have a good time uh, with this uh, episode uh, in general. So, so yeah, I guess if anything, this episode is uh, well worth the watch. I highly recommend it. Man, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug is actually pretty impressive. I mean, Volpina is uh, actually uh, really, really uh, incredibly well done. In fact... I think I could seriously bet that maybe she could be uh, a new companion uh, in uh, in the uh, later uh, episode. So we'll we'll find out for ourselves. But other than that, really great episode.
Well, it looks like we got part one of uh, of uh, Ladybug and Cat Noir's uh, origin story in this episode of Miraculous Ladybug, and it's actually really impressive. Yeah, I think I uh, know they've been uh, saving it up for uh, quite a while now uh, since uh, the first season began, so I will have to say this is a really good uh, start, so I'm quite curious to see what's going to happen in part two later on. Man, oh man, I gotta say, getting to see part two of, uh, Ladybug and Cat Noir's origin story is actually really impressive, yeah. I think I really love of how, uh, they, uh, wrap things up in particular. So, yeah, overall, really great episode and really nice, uh, send-off to season one. And I really cannot wait to see what's going to happen in season two, so that'll be something I'll be looking forward to. Alright, I know it is a little bit early for this, but I'm sorry, I have to bring this up, so yeah, I got to see the Christmas episode of Miraculous Ladybug, and I have to say, I'm equally impressed by it, yeah, I mean, just the idea of making it like a musical and stuff, uh, it's actually really cool, and everything else, I have to say, is, uh, it's actually impressive, so yeah, if you're looking for a great Christmas special, I highly recommend this. Well, I finally got to see the first episode to season two of Miraculous Ladybug, and they're off to a pretty good start with this one, yeah. I mean, just everything about it, I think just all the build-up towards uh, the other heroes that are going to be uh, joining our main characters, it's, I think it's going to be uh, really amazing, and that ending, though, wow, I, I guess I didn't see it coming, but yeah, really great start to season two, I really love it. Boy, I never thought I would see the day that, uh, that it's basically, uh, child's play mixed in with Care Bears, but, but yeah, I guess, uh, that's, uh, how I feel about, uh, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug, but, uh, yeah, I think I will have to admit, uh, it is actually a pretty good episode, uh, I have to admit, not really the, uh, best in my opinion, but it's actually pretty good, and, yeah, I will never look at, uh, Teddy Bears the same way ever again. Man, I guess I can say, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug is actually much better than TMZ, so, so yeah, this was actually a really great episode in my opinion, I mean, I never would have thought I would uh, see a, uh, a uh, reporter trying to uh, figure out if Ladybug and Cat Noir are, are a couple, but, but hey, we may never know, so, we'll, we'll know what happens. Man, I gotta say, another good episode of Miraculous Ladybug has come and gone, so, there's nothing much else I can say except, the moral of the story is, Spend more time with your grandparents. And that's really about it. Man, I gotta say, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug actually does intrigue me. I mean, I think just the idea of a villain who is actually pretty good at fencing, it's actually quite nice. So, um, so yeah, I guess you could say this episode is a little touche. <laughs> but yeah, it's still a pretty good episode, I have to admit. Boy, I gotta say, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug, it's... I think it's pretty much almost like a uh, kid-friendly version of uh, Maximum Overdrive. I, I really don't know what's uh, going on at that point, but I, it's actually uh, pretty hilarious to watch. So yeah, overall, pretty great episode, and I nearly cracked up a bit at that. Man, what can I say about this episode of Miraculous Ladybug? Well, except for the fact that I think it's just basically Attack on Titan with a baby! A freaking baby! <laughs> so yeah... This episode is uh, definitely one of my favorites. I think it's absolutely really hilarious to watch. So, so yeah, if you watch this episode, you're in for a good laugh. I, I highly recommend it. Man, I guess after seeing this episode of Miraculous Ladybug, I couldn't get over the fact of how crazy and over-the-top Owl is. So, so yeah, I think I will say uh, the Owl is, of course, a weak hero in my opinion, but the rest of the episode is actually pretty good, so... So, yeah, I guess overall, pretty good episode, but I guess the owl is uh, pretty weak in that, so, so there. Boy, who would have thought that ice cream can actually be pure evil, but, but yeah, I guess uh, other than that, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug is uh, ridiculously fun, in my opinion. So, yeah, just the idea of a, of a, a bad guy covered in ice cream. How could you go wrong with such a crazy idea such as this? It, yeah, it is that ridiculously good. Man, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug was absolutely amazing, and I freaking knew it. I freaking knew it that uh, we would actually get a new ally. So yeah, Rena Rouge is actually a really great uh, ally for Ladybug and Cat Noir. But but yeah, overall, really great episode. I highly recommend it. Man, I gotta say, this episode of Miraculous Ladybug got a little 
King Kongish. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I will have to uh, say uh, just the idea of uh, akumatizing uh, Adrian's bodyguard into a giant monstrous gorilla. How could you go wrong with that? So, but yeah, overall, pretty good episode, but I really don't know what I just watched. Well, I've decided to finish up the majority of Season 2 of Miraculous Ladybug with this episode, and it's actually really impressive. Yeah, who would have thought that uh, combining music with, uh, with a villain that kind of looks like a pirate? It's actually uh, quite impressive. So yeah, really great episode. So overall, I really love this show, and I really cannot wait for the rest of Season 2 to come out right around this, this December.